Welcome back. So, oh, I can actually buy that. Really? Anyway, so yeah, have I ever mentioned that I hate computers? I mean, seriously, computers, man, computers. Anyway, I'm. I have a drink. I've eaten. So yeah, probably eaten and stuff. So I, sh I should be a little bit less irritable this time around. This game still has some major flaws. Not disputing that. And I actually realized looking back on it, I think I was a little bit too lenient on it last time around. I was worried that people might think I was just pissing and moaning and picking holes. And I am picking holes. That's, that's the point. I mean, that's my problem with the game overall is that it, it does overall presentation is really nice but there are so many little things that you can pick out that just really get on my tits and you know i was talking about the um the, those telegraphed like fight seat sections where it's quite clear that it's laid out so that you can sneak around and have gunfights and stuff the problem with that is you, you have those on the one hand and then that section in the subway area with those clickers that was brilliant the, the level design there was incredible. It, it had everything you needed. It was both tense and fit the um, the scene that they, the set piece that they'd made, as well as being genuinely realistic, like something that you would actually find in an environment like that. It served both purposes perfectly. And that's the worst part of it all: is that you get, you can see how. In some areas, they just have this idea for how they want the environment to look, and they've sacrificed flow for the sake of it. It's like also the um, the warehouse sort of area. That was the actual warehouse just before you get to Robert, where where I completely stabbed my way through with that um, thing you up, and I used my like my my first shiv and all that stuff. That kind of walks the line between the two. There was a little bit more there than I think there probably should have been, considering it was supposed to be apocalypse and stuff. But it still seemed plausible that a dock would have all that stuff laying around like that. So. But that's the problem. I thought I've realised. Well, my biggest problem with this game is as far as the visuals are concerned, is the, um, is the lighting. I'm real big on lighting, and the lighting in this game is, there's nothing wrong with it, but there's nothing good about it either. It's, it's purely functional, like the shadows and the, the, the torch you have isn't really dynamic, it just shines a circle that just brightens up an area, it doesn't interact with um, the environment in any way, it doesn't change the actual tone of the light or anything like that, it's 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 purely functional, and there's nothing dynamic about it. It's very plain. See what I mean? It's just it doesn't really change anything. You know, as I move closer to the wall, it should brighten up more, but it doesn't. It brightens up a set amount, and that's just disappointing. Considering the quality of everything else, but I think. I understand the, well, no, I know exactly why they've done that, it's because dynamic lighting is a lot more difficult to, um, yes. brick, is a lot more difficult to, to generate than the, you know, the, the texturing and stuff, so it's an easy way to make it look a hell of a lot better at a glance without increasing the, um, the system draw immensely to the point where the, the PlayStation 3 is just, yeah! and as you can hear, I don't know, actually I don't know if you can hear, but it's kind of, oh, right, I don't think I opened this door before. Damn. Go on. I have a feeling that anything I'll get in here will be, will more than make up for what I have lost from coming in here, so to speak. Oh, more bullets. Stuff for mollies, more guns. Is that enough to make? No, it's not enough to make another shiv. Bombs. Um, okay, how am I going to deal 
with this then. Um, um, okay, I think what I'll do is I'm gonna molly that one in the face. Like so. Then hide. Has he just ran into it? Is he gonna die from running into the flames? Do you know there's another thing? He should be set on fire now. Why did it take him so damn long? Okay, he was set on fire, but see, why did it take him so damn long? Hmm? Hmm. Okay. Now where's the last one? Wait, did I get all of them? No. Okay. shit to use anyway did I? Oh, well, why did I turn my torch off? I can keep my torch on, they can't see it anyway can they? Right. Ah! Now you go run over to it and get burned in too. Go on, you die. Is he gonna die? Is he gonna die? Yes. In the face. Then I'm gonna go. Yes. Then I'm gonna go murder yes. this thing, this one in the face. In the face, in the face. In its face of faces. In the face. No. God damn it! Knocked it through the penis of the face. It's all about faces, basically. Yeah, this is what it all comes down to: is the face. Right. Stop. What's that on the floor? Is that a brick? It's a brick, isn't it? Ah! Right, now then. Wait for this one to be in a position yes. where I can murder it. That one's getting yes. murdered. It's a shame that one doesn't notice it too and go running over to it and get murdered in the murder. That would be useful. That would be very useful, in fact. Right. Come here, you. No! I've, I've watched some of my, my girlfriend's Let's Play of this. Bonnie Suit Gaming, go check her out. I've watched some of her Let's Play of this, and it's a lot easier to break free from them on easy than it is on hard. It's like an insta-kill on hard, which is... Yeah. Cheapness of the cheaping of the ness. Alright, go get Burndy. Go on, get Burndy and die. Is it Burndy? Go on. Yeah, there we go. Good. Get Burndy and dead. Burn dead. That's like half Burndy and half dead. Both at the same time. Okay. Now then. Let's wait until it's heading away from me. Which it's now doing. This time, Joel, don't mess it up. Thank you. You've done that in the first place. Oh yeah, she she found like a crowbar as well at the um, the first place I, I started having problems with these things with the clickers and stuff. Right, is that more cordycepsness in the air, or is that just regular dust? It's probably just regular dust. What's that? John Brown. Yeah, John Brown. Not sure what that means. Right, can I reload this? Reload. Reload. Hello. No, can't reload that. I mean, I know that I, I can't have um, that many bullets in it and stuff, but is that openable? Yes. Is it, is it closable? No. See, the little things like that really bug me. If I can open the door, why can't I bleed the closet? Seriously. I mean, the merp of a herp derp, herp and the derp of herp and derps. It's just derp of herp. So I wonder how the girls are doing. Love the fact that they didn't try taking any of these 
online creatures out whilst they were running away and stuff, that would have really helped. Wait, did I pick that up already? Does... I've been in here several times now and there was something on there. Yeah, thank you. Ferdibersk? Oh. Ah! Ah! Thank you. Now I can reload it. Reload. Thank you. Didn't bleed in time. Right. Uh, and uh. Right. Do I have enough? No, not yet. I have 40? I thought I got more than that. Didn't I get like 20 of them at some point? Did I not save it after that? Did I misread it as being 20 parts or something oh, I don't know I'm gonna make Molly anyway uh, I wanna make another shiv I like my shivs did I just see plus one I just saw something coming towards me right anyway where did the girls go down this way I'm guessing no, not through there through there maybe I see nothing. So I've I have this I had this thought since my girlfriend pretty much spends her entire time walking through the game like this because she's uh, terrified of running into enemies and getting sneaky sneaked and murdered in the face and stuff. She should do like a spin-off channel or series where she's playing stealth games and she could she should call it Bunny Sneak Gaming because she's sneaky sneaks. Okay, where's that coming from? Is that a, that's a runner, isn't it? Yeesh. Right, there are runners, clickers, and what was the other one called again? Um, what was it? That one? Yes. Stalker. Runner, stalker, and clicker. What's the difference between a runner and a stalker? Hide and ambush victims, check your surroundings. Hmm. And what's the fourth stage then? Is that the spores? Or is there actually a fourth stage of the death thing? Of the zombification or stuff? Well, let's. Good thing that he's, they don't pay any attention to light, isn't it? Ah! Broke your face. Right, where, where was that coming from? Interesting that I can't see any things now, isn't it? Yeesh. Okay, open. Right, what? Can you see that? Where's Ellie? Jess told me I have to look after her. Oh, Globbit! Well, at least it's regular ones, so I can actually beat them to death with fists and faces and stuff. Go on, murder them. Ah, ah, ah. Come here, you. Murdy wall in the face. You'll get murdered. In the face. Yes. Murder face. In the face. Oh, nice. Ah. Uh, ah, punch you in the brains and then you die. Because you are dead in the face. Where you at? Hey, come here, you. I'm going to murder you. Come on. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. Right. Ellie? You okay, honey? Yeah, you shoot him, I punch. Okay. Meanwhile, my torch is going crazy whilst I was doing that. Everyone okay? Yeah, just casually sauntering around now. I'm actually going to use one of these. I've made them, so I might as well make use of them, right? Yish. Yish. 
Can reload my gun. Waste some ammunition. Don't like using perishables. I've mentioned that before, I know, but I just I just don't. Yeesh. I also kinda don't like using the wooden poles and stuff. Oh, I could have used a brick. Oh yeah, I should have thought about that. If there's a brick in a place then there will always be a brick there. So like infinite bricks. Dick. Oh, just a weird part of the environment thing. Fair enough. Oh look, yes, door closing behind me again. Because that makes sense. Now you all okay? I wonder how these bottles will work against the um, runners. You alright, honey? I, I was told to take care of you. You okay? You sure? Okay. You okay? Yeah, I don't care about you. You can look after yourself. So what's that? Looks like a map of the city, perhaps? Pupils, stuff, some food. Half of American culture. Dude, you don't have any culture. You're like 200 years old. Yeah, well, whatever. So what do you have to say for yourself, women? Yes. How are you all now? Just a bit winded. This way. This will get us to the roof. Okay. But, oh. How about yeah, you? your sister told me to look after you. It's fine, okay. Are you still breathing? Do small panic breaths count? Yes. Yeah, they can. Right. I'm okay. Cool. Duh. Duh. What? I'm going through this one as well, just just because Tess said to go through the other one. Yeesh. Can I fall off then? Oh! I was spoiling my fun. Hmm. Oh, and I've checked as well when jumping off things. That little jump he does when he jumps off things. Uh, yeah, yeah. When, when I was like, what, like going down here. I checked with my girlfriend. You have to actually press X just as you reach the edge. So I watched her do some of the stuff I've been doing, obviously, and she just walked straight off the edge. Like so. So he only jumped when you press a button. Why they felt the need to add that, I don't know, but I'm glad because I like to go, ah! So, I've been thinking, what happened here? Why is this, why is the damage like this? Now, they did talk about a bombing raid in the area, but seriously, if they'd bombed the place, it would have done a hell of a lot more damage than this, right? Unless they were doing, t uh, like, targeted tactical strikes. Like, maybe that Definitely building was the whole thing, but if they'd have done that, they'd have leveled that entire building and nothing in the surrounding area would have been would have been affected. See, that's the kind of thing. It's they've done this because they think it looks impressive, and it does. But it breaks the mood. And skybox is kind of bland as well. I'm real big on skyboxes, mate. Real big on skyboxes, and that one's not impressive. I'll tell you the game. A game that does have a really really nice skybox. For, for those who don't know, skybox is, well, ceiling. It's the box in the sky. Um, I'll tell you a game that has a, an absolutely gorgeous skybox is Homefront. <laughs> Graphically speaking, overall the game is a bit on the bland side, but the skybox is absolutely incredible. I mean, it's not a terrible looking game. It's actually a pretty damn good looking game. But, um, the skybox is amazing. What step is you going up? Is this going to be a little... Chronicles of Riddick had a good skybox as well. Let me get the other one too. It's more, you know, more support that way. 